About 10 years ago, Tom Belbo surprised his colleagues and chose Cleveland, Ohio as the place where he'd create his unique works of art. Typical places where artists flocked to such as New York City and San Francisco got too expensive for Tom's budget. Tom spent all his savings on turning an abandoned auto body shop in Cleveland into an art studio. And taking chances paid off. That old garage is now the famous Morgan Conservatory. It's the largest art center in the United States dedicated to the art of papermaking. Those are some of the uh, things that you've heard about for years, that everything's going digital, everything's going here and there, and yet there's a whole other movement um, toward the, the, not only the handicraft, but the craft or the necess necessity to save uh, uh, something that's printed on paper. Artist Steven Petelko's specialty is paper marbling. There is a sophisticated surface design method that leaves paper looking like smooth marble. Steven has been doing it for more than three decades. Dropping thinned paint onto a thickened bath. The bath is carginin, which is a food grade thickener. And the paints are thinned with water. Mm -hmm. They're acrylic paints. And they float. And even when raked or combed, which I'll do in a moment, they don't uh, mix. They stay separate. After that, the artist uses special tools to create beautiful patterns. When the pattern is ready, the artist puts a piece of paper onto the liquid surface for a second, and the paper adopts the pattern. For her part, Lisa Schoenberg does what's called screen printing, an ancient stencil-based printing process. Ink is forced through a fine screen onto the paper beneath. What's nice is the kind of spontaneity of it. You can get a lot of interesting mark making and um, dots and spray. What makes this place all the more interesting? The ingredients for paper making are grown in the conservatory's backyard. They own a small garden where the artists grew a Japanese hoso tree. Bark from the tree is used for the production of the exquisite off. paper used in making their works of art. This is the mature version of this branch. Mm -hmm. um, so you'd be using this inner fiber here and you'd be scraping off this brown outer bark. When Tom Balbo opened Morgan Conservatory, he dreamed of it to be a hands-on place for the community to create their own art. Today, anyone is welcome here to participate in the art of paper making. A chance to turn an everyday item, paper, into your own masterpiece. Maxim Moskalkov for VOA News, Cleveland, Ohio.